So we're here at Gamescom finding finding out about a game called Kingdom. Uh, first of all, give us the quick pitch. What what kind of game is Kingdom? Kingdom is a minimal exploration game, uh, exploration strategy. It's a pixel art game. It looks pre very pretty, and uh, the goal is basically to build a castle and defend it against the creeps at night. And uh, it's pretty hard to do. Every time you do it, you get a little bit further. You survive a couple more nights, uh, but in the end, they get you. They steal the crown, and you have to start over. It's a very interesting thing to sort of put the the, the sort of the, the principle of base building on a sort of on a on a, on a side-scrolling scale, like kind of presents with some interesting ideas. I remember uh, Swords and Soldiers did something where it was an RTS that was side-scrolling, and, and yeah. this is this is completely different because this focuses on the on the base building instead of where that sort of more focused on on sort of battling with two yeah. two bases. So yeah. it's like a completely different take, yet something similar. Yeah, I think uh, after a while people kind of get it. At first they think it's a platformer because you have to walk around and achieve stuff, but then they get that what you really need to do is just go out into the forest, get stuff and bring it back to your base and like get this big ass castle. And, and also your character is more like a commander than, than any oh, sort yeah. of action thing. You're not really yeah. doing anything yourself, you're just paying people to do stuff. Yeah, you're doing nothing at all. You're basically just uh, throwing coins around for them and uh, that makes them do certain things for you. Like, you're really a ruler. Like, you sit on a horse and, and toss out coins to people. And collect taxes. And collect taxes. When, you know, when they make money, you come back up and like, that's my money, so. So I think it's an interesting part of it is also this day-night cycle where, you know, during the day, it's a little bit safer, you can explore more, you can sort of get things going, but during the night, things come out. Yeah, it's, it's very classic in a sense, like people are kind of used to that idea, like at night it's creepy and you need to defend stuff. Um, you, you don't want to be in the forest at night, so you have to kind of make this trade-off, like am I going to go explore, but I got to be back home by in time. I think it's a very like, exciting game mechanic, you know, running back when the sun is setting, not to get caught by the monsters. And, and you're, you're talking about the roguelike influences as well. As far as I understand it, there's no progression outside of like, if you if you make it to a certain point, you don't you don't start with any perks or anything like that, or have you in plans? Yeah, pe people told me that if it's a roguelike, it means there is no progression outside of the thing. Like you die and you really die, and that's that's the way this game is. What you gain though is that you learn the mechanics. You know, like you get how it works, and and this allows you to to progress further into the game where you will see new stuff. So yeah. And and but but what what you have what you experience outside of, of the camp is is random in any way or uh, yeah it's a procedurally generated world there's like uh, trees and forest all around and and different surprises to find in there so on a replay you might find a different kind of altar or castle or a, a temple in the forest than you did the last time all right so then you need to sort of figure out how to you know trial and error see what you can do with it and when you, what you shouldn't do perhaps yeah. more. And it makes the choice of going out in the forest, it's like a risk-reward thing, because you're never, you're never sure that there is going to be something. So you've got to be ready to, to not find something and still have like the economy back at your castle to make it through the night. So uh, well, what can you tell us about the art style? I mean, it, it is a beautiful game. What, what has gone into it through creating this? Um, it's kind of, I would like to say it's a non-retro pixel art game. Uh, we use pixel art because it's in a way efficient to make. Like we can, we can with a small development team, like do, do this whole game. Um, but then we just use all of our, like, let's say, coding skills to really, really make it look like as, as best as we can. We don't restrict ourselves to, you know, not use gradients or any of those pixel art rules. So yeah, and and one of my inspirations is of course uh, sword and sorcery. I mean, I, I love that art. I, I looked at their bushes so often to see like, but uh, yeah, I mean, th that's just a whole other level. <laughs> all right. So so what, what's uh, where are you at in development? Where, what's the plans with this game? Um, we're, uh, we're pretty close to like finishing it up, uh, we're going to release it in a couple months. So uh, what you see here is, is a limited build, but it has like all the, all the features in it. Yeah. So fairly soon. Uh, of course you can check out more on Kingdom, on, on, on Game Reactor. Thank you so much for taking yeah. the time to talk to us. Yeah, yeah, you're welcome. Thank you guys.